Alas, Flavians, we hardly knew ye. The Flavian dynasty only lasted three emperors, a father and his two sons, just 27 years, which is the same span of time between today and the O.J. Simpson trial. But it was an impactful 27 years, seeing the completion of Rome's most famous landmark, the Flavian Amphitheater, aka the Colosseum, and riding the ship after the disastrous year of the four emperors, strengthening the economy and setting the stage for the peaceful and prosperous second century, which was the best, most sweetest time to be an ancient Roman, the time best described by the phrase Pax Romana. Patriarch Vespasian was the wizened, battle-hardened general, his talents sharpened by decades of hard-won experience and the careful forging of alliances. Titus was the popular jock son, the apple who did not fall at all far from the tree, a capable popular administrator cut short by tragic illness, and Domitian an apple that obviously fell very, very far from the tree. But even he, for all his flaws, was probably instrumental in the institution of policies that led to Rome's second century dominance. The system created by the Julio-Claudians a century before continued to flourish in large part due to the efforts of the Flavians and their allies.